Alright guys, welcome back to another Minecraft video. This is sort of a part 2 video to this video about my thoughts on every single Minecraft cape. Uh, you don't have to have seen that video to watch this one though. Anyways, this video is about veteran capes. What is a veteran cape? Well, they were first mentioned when Microsoft account migration was getting underway, uh, being hinted at in this article on the Minecraft website, stating that you'll receive a cool reward once you've logged in with your Microsoft account, a special cape referring to the Migrator Cape, which had already been revealed and which we're all probably familiar with now. Um, but just underneath, it stated, and who knows, you might even have more than one outfit to show off, implying that there could be more capes coming in the future. The second hint comes further down in that same article, stating, but everyone will get moved and you'll get an opportunity to participate and receive your cape. Or is that capes? Hmm which m almost entirely confirms the idea that Mojang completely intended to have more capes for players to receive. But where did the term veteran cape come from? Well, when people used Inspect Element on the Minecraft webpage, they found text which reads, and a special veteran cape for each year you've played Java Edition. So this is basically saying that when you migrated, you would receive the migration cape and a cape for every year you've played Java Edition. Naturally, this was crazy news, but we still hadn't heard anything official from Mojang confirming the veteran capes. But later on, people found this image, titled Minecraft is Moving, in a Minecraft migration help section on the website, with a dot point that has the same text from the inspected webpage. Interestingly, if you try this now, the image has been removed along with any mention of veteran capes from the site. But that's where the trail goes cold. Migration officially ended March 10th, 2022, and we have not heard any news on Veteran Capes since. So, as mentioned, Veteran Capes were supposed to acknowledge the veterans of Minecraft, giving every player the ability to own a cape that shows what year they started playing the game, as well as being able to own a cape for every subsequent year. Now, this is most likely what was implied by the different texts we've found, however, I do think it's a bit excessive. Don't get me wrong, I would love to have tons of capes, but we all know that if everyone has them, it's not as special. But there are a few different ideas on what the text could mean, or what I think Mojang should do rather than just give everyone tens of capes. This first idea is probably my least favourite, but I thought I'd mention it as an option. Um, the idea is that you receive a new cape every year your account ages, like a birthday. Everyone gets the same capes, but it's like a year one, year two, and so on cape. Um, those with the oldest accounts will have a cape that no one else has until the next year, and so on as more capes age. As I said, I'm not a fan of this idea, but it's an interesting thought. So this next one is my favourite of the options. Uh, it's also the most simple, I think it's the one Mojang is most likely to do. Um, and that's just give us a cape for the year we started playing Minecraft. That's it. So people who started in 2011 only get a 2011 cape, people who started in 2013 only get a 2013 cape, and people who bought their account in 2022 would get a cape for this year. So the idea is that for every subsequent year, um, a new cape design would come out, and if someone was really passionate about this new cape design, they could buy a new account to own that cape. So I like this idea a lot because it almost creates a friendly rivalry between each of the years, um, and also lets you subtly relate to those in your year. Um, it's simple, it's unique, um, and it wouldn't flood every account with bunches of capes. Um, the only problem I see with this is that if uh, a year gets a cape that the majority dislike, Players will then complain, and Mojang might stop doing it altogether, um, which will be a real shame. Now the last option, which is similar to the original New Year New Cape based idea, is a new cape for each major release version of Minecraft. Now I don't think this is something that Mojang would do, um, but it is a cool idea, and I do prefer this option um, where you get a cape for every major release version rather than for every year. And this is what sparked this video, this concept art made by Bonfire and shared by Sprintermax depicting how veteran capes could be done um, if they were released every version. Now just remember these are not official Minecraft capes and they were made a few years ago so a couple of versions are missing. But looking at the capes closely now, the alpha cape is very simplistic, reminiscent of the game back when it was getting started. Um, I really like the vibrant grass block in the center which is like a staple of early Minecraft. The beta cape is also quite simple, with a vibrant basic red to contrast the old cobblestone texture. Moving on to release 1.0, the version that the end was introduced in. Um, this cape has a great design with the purple mimicking the enderman eyes, being a staple of the end, and the end portal frame featured prominently in the middle. 
Release 1.1 is a very detailed fire charge item. I'm not entirely sure why, but it is a very cool cape either way. Release 1.2 has the texture of an ocelot added in this version. Interestingly, the iron golem was also added, but I imagine wasn't featured due to its presence on the Minecon 2015 cape. Next we have release 1.3, which was a version that added new structure generations into Minecraft, including the desert pyramid, which was also represented here. 1.4 added command blocks, a revolutionary item which broadened the possibilities of Minecraft creation further than ever before, so it makes sense that it was on this cape. 1.5 aka the redstone update added all sorts of redstone components and mechanics. This cape has a comparator on it and is probably one of my favourite of the bunch. Next, release 1.6 has a hay bale texture as this is the update that added horses. 1.7 was the update that changed the world, adding all sorts of things into the game, including new plants. Although to me, this one looks almost like an underwater area with kelp. 1.8 added the ocean monument, which included the guardian represented on the cape. 1.9, the combat update, changed how we had to fight. Uh, an end crystal is being used to represent this, um, as these days crystal PvP is possibly the most effective form of PvP. 1.10 added basically nothing, so the stray is a fitting choice. 1.11 added llamas, 1.12 was the world of colour update, which I feel wasn't really captured in this cape, this cape doesn't really have a whole lot of colour involved. 1.13 was the aquatic update, represented by the bubbles and underwater setting. 1.14 the village and pillage update added raids and ravages. 1.15 added bees. And 1.16 added blackstone and gilded blackstone in bastion structures. Uh, this is a very clean and well representative cape, I feel. So those are all the capes that were designed at the time. Um, I think it would be very cool to see some Elytra designs for these, as well as 1.17 to 1.19 capes. Um, but in the meantime, let me know what you think the 1.17 to 1.19 capes would be. But anyways, that is going to be all for this video. If you enjoyed or found it interesting, leave a like and subscribe. I don't know if veteran capes will ever come to Minecraft, but I really hope they do in some form or another. But let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. This has been Bosclair, and I'll see you in the next one. Laters!